All right, thanks for watching. And today we will evaluate an amazing integral with an incredible trick. So let's evaluate the integral from zero to infinity of one over one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth plus x to the fifth. And in order to do that, let's use a u substitution. So let u be one over x, then x is one over u, then dx is minus one over u squared du. And therefore the integral becomes, so the integral of one over zero plus, which is infinity to zero, and then minus one over u squared du over one plus one over u plus one over u squared up to one over u fifth. And let's clean this up a little bit. So this minus will reverse the order of integration. And moreover, to avoid those fractions, let's multiply both sides by u to the fifth. And then in the end, what we get is that the same integral is the integral from zero to infinity of u third over u to the fifth plus u to the fourth up to one, which is the same thing as one plus u dot 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 up to u to the fifth and du. Here's a beautiful thing, because those two integrals are so similar, let's just add them up and see what we get. So then i plus i, which is i i captain, becomes 2i, and that's the integral from zero to infinity of one plus u cubed, or we can also call it x cubed, x cubed, and then that is one plus x, plus x squared, plus x cubed, plus x to the fourth, plus x to the fifth, dx. Now, here comes the beautiful part of the video, which really works specifically for this integral, because let's look at this part and factor out x cubed. So then what we get is i, if you want, is one half of integral from zero to infinity, of one plus x cubed over one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed times one plus x plus x squared. Yes. Now, this is something I almost sometimes tell my students. It's not good, too good to be true, but it is good and it is true. Now, this is something I sometimes tell my students. This is not too good to be true. This is in fact good and true. Because what happens here is that this part here factors out and you get one half integral from zero to infinity of one plus x cubed over one plus x plus x squared times one plus x cubed, dx. And now this nasty part just factors out. And then in the end, what you get is that your integral is just equal to the integral of one over x squared plus x plus one, dx. Which now we can just evaluate by completing the square. Okay, so how do we do this? So this is integral of one half integral from zero to infinity of one over x plus one half squared, and then minus one quarter plus one, so plus three quarters dx. We can do a super quick u sub, u equals x plus one half, and then get one half integral from one half to infinity from 1 over x squared plus 3 quarters, dx. Then you can factor out these 3 quarters. 
So this becomes one half integral from one half to infinity of one over three quarters. And then four thirds x squared, which becomes two over square root of three x squared plus one. Yes. Which here becomes, so in the end we have two thirds. Maybe let me write it here. Two thirds integral from one half to infinity of one over two over square root of three x squared plus one dx. Just double check. Um, yes. And while this smells very arctangenty, a very good smell, and we get arctangent of 2 over square root of 3x, but because of the chain rule, we need a square root of 3 over 2, and that is from 1 half to infinity. This 2 cancels out. This becomes 1 over square root of 3. Arctangent of infinity is pi over 2. And then arctangent of 1 over square root of 3 is pi over 6. And then in the end, we get 1 over square root of 3, and then pi over 3. And so the final answer is pi over 3 square root of 3. Oh my god! I mean, who would have thought that this sum would simplify so much to give us such a nice answer? But this is what you get at Dr. Payab. All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.